Well, hello, my loyal royal members and any new members or subscribers or YouTube watchers that have stopped on by to check out my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you for coming on over. So today I'm going to be reviewing this King James Ministry Essentials Bible, a comprehensive Bible for everyone in leadership. So um, this was just a Bible that I had seen that I wanted to grab for home um, because I do do outside ministry um, from time to time just people I know family whatever um, so I thought this would be something that could help me and the hubby as far as ministry goes so I'm gonna jump right on into this this is what it looks like and I got this from I want to say christianbooks.com. You guys, all the Bibles on my channels that I review mainly either come, I find them on Amazon or christianbooks.com. More so christianbooks.com. Um, if you're okay with waiting a little while to get it, that's it. If you're impatient, then you might be able to find it on Amazon. But this Bible is helpful for anyone in leadership role. Um, new or bivocational pastors, lay leaders, experienced pastors. Um, the features of it are, there are 250 articles written by over 180 Christian leaders, practical resource guide with field tested guidance on various pastoral functions, such as weddings, baptisms, and funerals, two ribbon markers, scripture cross references, a concordance, and, um, a further reading list. It is the King James Version Ministry Bible. And again, it has a bunch of articles and things in it. It is a two-toned, um, I don't believe this is leather, but it has that leather feel. And well, it doesn't say on the box, I was trying to look, but it's it says brown, black brown Flexisoft. So I'm assuming it's some kind of imitation leathery type thing um here you go it has gold gilding it has two black satin ribbons there you go and here is the spine there's glued in here um there's a couple, oh, several blank pages. These are kind of hefty or sturdy pages too, which are also are, is the first page here. Let's see. Okay, this paper is more of regular biblical paper or Bible paper. Here is your table of contents, the Old and New Testament, and this is the it's Episcopal Dictory, starting with James. Oh. And then it just goes into leadership things. And then it starts with the Old Testament here. And basically all these previous pages, I should slow down a little bit, just tell you how to use this Bible. Um, and then it breaks it down in different categories here. And then we'll start with Genesis here, the outline, the background, the message, the time it was written. Um, here are some more um, cross references and then just the Bible, the actual Bible layout. Um, and then it, again, it just goes through I was trying to see if I can kind of find some of the special things that are in here. Here we go. So here we have spiritual leadership, the high call of spiritual leadership and what it is, how to know if you're a spiritual leader or if you're called to be one. Then it breaks things down in spiritual leadership. In this whole section, so it gives you the whole part of actually knowing what you or if you do or if you don't have the calling of spiritual leadership 
in your life or on your life. And then it just continues as such. So through each portion of this Bible, trying to get there, it breaks down different parts of spiritual leadership through each section of the Bible, each chapter, excuse me. So this is an Exodus and then it goes to here when we get out of Exodus. So there's developing new leaders. And then it starts with, oh my goodness, I can't get, the pages are still kind of stuck together. There's Joshua. And then again, in here, it will have something on leadership. See? So, the, the discipline of Sabbath keeping. But these are, this is how the Bible continues. All the way through each section of every Bible has something about leadership uh, in it. So I thought that was kind of interesting um, and a good book for someone who is either in leadership, you know, starting in leadership, in college for leadership, spiritual leadership, and it continues that way throughout. Just a lot of nice shepherding families with disabilities. I mean, this information could be used for anyone. It does You don't necessarily have to be in leadership, but I feel like... We're all supposed to be sharing the gospel, and whether you realize it or not, you are, if you're a believer, you are shining your light for others to see. So having the knowledge and the things to help someone, I'm not saying go out there and, you know, start your church or whatever, but unless you're called to do so, but I'm saying that any every information that can help you in your walk, in your journey with God and can help someone else on their journey is always making your light shine brighter because you know and then you help them find or go speak to their pastor whoever if that's what they need but at the time you can find some of the answers or help them with certain things yourself or just use it in your own life so here's a practical resource guide that like this pastoral events just different you know, things or tidbits or nuggets, whatever you want to call them, that can help in your leadership or someone else's leadership or just in your daily journey with God. So we got that. And then here, of course, comes the index or the concordance, sorry. And that continues on until the end. There's no maps or anything. I didn't see any maps or anything in the Bible. And then it just has a couple more end pages and then the back of it. And the back is all one color, all the pretty much the brown or or kind of golden rod color is what it really is. And then this is, it says it's black here, but it kind of looks brown to me. Um, it's kind of like a blackish brown color is what I see. So, in the actual light of it. So, here we are. This is the Ministry Essentials Bible. And, again, I've done a couple reviews on three Bibles here recently. And one of them, which is the Preacher's Bible, is probably one we're going to be doing a giveaway to. I'm trying to wait till we get to 600 subscribers to do a giveaway. But, and we're almost there, so just wanted to jump on and share some more Bibles with you guys. You guys know I love a, an array of Bibles. You know, a lot of people ask me why I have so many Bibles, but they all are different. They're the same, yet different, just like people. We're all the same, God's children, but we're all different and serve a unique purpose. And so, for Him and His plan, and I feel like the Bibles are the same way. So... Again, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave me a comment in the section below because I always love to hear from you guys. Um, 
Don't forget to sub share, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, may God continue to bless you always. Toodles.